Western Kentucky at Auburn, and Auburn is a five and a half point favorite. The total sits at fifty three and a half. This thing was up at like seven and a half, eight. Got bet way, way, way down. I mean, just a, a lot down, right? So let's pull up the stats. You're gonna. This is gonna blow your mind. Absolutely blow your mind on this. <sighs> Auburn a five and a half point favorite with a total of fifty three and a half. Of course, those latest numbers come from BetUS. My numbers over the past five weeks have Western Kentucky favored by 16. That's nuts. And it's only it's only that spot, and I don't have talent put into this particular metric here. So this one's a little hard to gauge, but man, I did I, it blew my mind. Uh, Western Kentucky seven and zero against the spread in their last seven games in November. Western Kentucky is seven and one against the spread against a team with a losing record. They are twenty and eight against the number in their last twenty eight games overall. Uh, however, Western Kentucky is one and six against the spread in their last seven against the SEC. Auburn, on the other hand, zero oh and six against the spread in their last six non conference games. They are one and four against the spread in their last five against Conference USA. They are two and six against the spread in their last eight home games. Ugh. What Western Kentucky has done this year has been incredibly surprising to me because they lost the offensive coordinator. They lost a ton of their pass catchers. Bailey Zapp, uh, Zappy, whatever you want to call him, is uh, is now playing in the NFL. Like, they lost a bunch of dudes. And yet this offense has continued with a 26-year-old offensive coordinator and a Division II transfer from North Florida, Austin Reed. They've just been clicking. Just absolutely clicking. And the biggest thing to me is that they got the defense fixed. This defense was bad last year, and yet now this defense is, over the past five weeks, number eight in defensive PPA per drive. Now, part of that might be the fact that they are playing uh, the number 125 strength of schedule. Auburn has played the number four strength of schedule. So there's something to that, obviously. But regardless, even against air, if you are number eight in defensive PPA per drive, that's pretty awesome. They're number 39 in defensive success rate allowed. The issue there is that Western Kentucky is number 58 in rushing success rate allowed. Yeah, that could be a problem. Um, Forget the rushing success allowed for Auburn. Or not allowed. The rushing success by Auburn's offense is number 87. But they're number 37 PPA per rush. Number 7 in rush rate. They run the ball over 65% of the time. And they are number nine in rushing explosiveness. Western Kentucky is going to see a different level of athlete this week. And don't get me wrong. It's not like this is the most talented roster in the SEC by any stretch of the imagination. But what you've got here is an Auburn team that is fired up. They are hyped. This is the last home game for Cornell Williams to be the head coach because they will almost certainly hire somebody other than him uh, once this whole thing gets wrapped up. But they showed out for him against Texas A&M last week. And I think they're going to do it again this week. Like, it seems like there is a lot of enthusiasm around that program. Yeah, the number says that the wrong team is favored by a lot. I get that. But I think these numbers are flawed big time. I'm going to ride Auburn to cover the five and a half here. Uh, I just, I, I think that they are going to be able to run the ball uh, almost at will on this Western Kentucky defense. And Western Kentucky's offense is going to be able to score on this defense. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Let's pull up that thing one more time uh, just so you guys can see it. But uh, all of these numbers, again, from Auburn are against SEC competition. I mean, it's the number four strength of schedule in the country. And and while this is... uh, somewhat opponent adjusted I don't know that you can do enough of an adjustment on it to be able to figure out exactly where these two mesh so yeah give me Auburn to cover five and a half I think the line is going the wrong way I think people's numbers are a little bit skewed I don't think Western Kentucky has the dudes to be able to keep up with a highly enthusiastic Auburn uh, football team right now so yeah I'll take Auburn to cover as a five and a half point favorite Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your